Well, here I am coming out of uh, retirement. It's been I think five years since I shot a buck. And I've never been into hunting uh, or archery or anything like that as a kid. But I met Dan Staten, and, and he was really into elk hunting. And so I thought I'd probably learn a little bit about it, but I didn't really have much interest. But he got me a bow, and I started shooting, and that was fun. I uh, went elk hunting with him a couple times, and <laughs> I actually had a chance to, to hunt on a ranch, and I had permission to shoot a cow, so we went out there, had all my snacks and my bow and my boots and everything. I was ready to go. And first thing we see, I mean, we were out there for half an hour and I see a bull come out and Dan just starts huffing and puffing. And I'm like, oh, cool. Like heart rate didn't jump. I was like, well, I can't shoot it, you know? So it didn't really, but Dan, I'd never seen him like that before. It was, <laughs> it was kind of funny. Um, and so after that day, he's like, okay, uh, you're not into elk hunting, which was okay. Now deer is a different story. So I shot my first deer about seven or eight years ago, probably like eight years ago. And it was freaking cool, man. I loved it. Like Dan got me set up with a really good spot. We'd trade firewood for this deer hunting spot in Washington in this guy's field that he owned. And we'd feed it and go up there. And, you know, it was always around Thanksgiving. So late, late season and, and it was just, it was cool to watch the deer come in and that's what got my heart racing was watching those whitetail bucks come in um so i got that year but then you know we had kids and life got busy and priorities changed a bit not that deer hunting was ever my priority but you know time is valuable and you kind of run out of it when you got other things going on So when I was hunting out of that tree stand, I saw the deer come in and Dan was up above me in another tree stand. That was really cool to have him there with me because I hunted alone here and there as well. Um, but he must have known that it was gonna be a magical night. So that buck came in and I know just from having been out there how quiet you have to be. So it's freezing cold. My hands are numb, haven't been holding my bow. I think I'd have been standing, but anyways, I get the, get the bow up, pull it back, and my heart is just racing, and I knew that it was gonna be like that. So I just kind of steadied myself and 
after that, I can't really remember. I mean, I feel like I just blanked out and shot it. And after I shot the buck, I don't think Dan thought it was a very good shot. Um, but I think his heart was pounding just as fast as mine was. So probably less than a hundred yards from my tree stand, it was a heart shot. I'll never forget like finally coming up on it, getting out of the stand and coming up on that deer and just like an overwhelming feeling um, of like gratitude and excitement kind of all in one. And realizing that like I actually did that, it was really, it was an amazing feeling. But now here I am back with a bow in my hand, this beautiful Matthews. I'm hoping to get back up in that tree stand this year. So for me, archery is just kind of like a thing that I've always had around. And of course I've been living with an expert. So, but you know, you should never coach your spouse. Proves to be challenging. Just ask Dan. Uh, we were really into CrossFit for a long time. And that was, that was my thing. Like I competed for a long time at CrossFit and based a lot of my character around that. And after I had children, I realized that you know, my body wasn't holding up and that again, other things took precedence over my fitness and my, well, not my fitness, but you know, my competition days. So, so with archery, it's kind of like one of those things that I can pick back up and that's extremely challenging, just like CrossFit is. And it's also something that I can do with my friends because um, I've got a lot of girlfriends who are into this and we're fortunate enough to have a range here so we can have them come over and hang out. But, you know, with the gyms having been closed and, you know, people just not getting together as much, this has been an awesome way for, for me and my girls to get together and, and just spend time together and laugh at each other and try to get better at archery so we can go do some fun competitions. So I'm shooting the Matthews Prima, and this thing is smooth. Um, just the draw, and it's not jerky like other bows that I've pulled back. Um, it's a little bit taller than what I've shot in the past, which is great. I feel like it's super stable. Um, a lot of times in the past, I've had trouble leveling out a bow, and I can get that bubble centered within just a couple of seconds. Um, so it just feels good in the hand. So Dan hooked me up with the Black Gold Pro Sight and I love how easy it is to adjust. Um, it's really intuitive. It's got all your tick marks. So it's, it's been easy for me, not really knowing a lot about how to move sights around to just get comfortable with it and get it to where I need it to be. So Dan also threw on a elk shape ham ski rest which i don't really know a lot about rest but i think it's cool that it says elk shape on there so you know bonus points for that so i noticed that i'm running the same quiver as dan's got on his bow it's super cool it matches my bow and it pops off here pretty easy so if you've got this you don't really need that but you can put it off and on so dan threw on some 
custom strings for Matthews for me. They're pink and they match the rest of my bow. They're pretty. They match my sight and my quiver. Um, and lastly, this is the Prima bow, which Prima stands for the most important or, you know, the, the shining star. So that's my plan is to live up to the name of this bow here. So Dan switched to Matthew's bows a couple years ago, and I know exactly why he switched. Um, it's because of the company that makes these bows and what they stand for, um, their values, and they align very similarly with ours, family, faith, things like that. So um, this is a great bow for guys and gals. Um, ladies, if you're into archery, that's phenomenal. This is a great bow, I would highly recommend it. And guys, if you got a gal who uh, is interested in hunting, this is a great way to get her started. She'll love her bow and it'll make her enjoy it that much more so that she can actually really get into it. And you know, who knows, maybe go do a hunt or two with you. And ladies, if you are the huntress of the house, get your significant other into archery because it's just something fun to do together.